should we talk about today? Let's talk about math! I like the way you think. Today I was thinking to myself, do I want to talk about ceiling and floor functions or proofs? And then it hit me. I can talk about both! It's my channel! Yeah! So today we're going to talk about two things and integrate them into the beautiful mathematical structure that they are. Now at this point you may be asking yourself, what are ceiling and floor functions? I have no idea what those are. Well, let me tell you what they are. Let's look at this lovely segment of the number line. Usually we use the midway point, 2.5, to determine whether we round that number up or down. However, if I take the floor of any number within this range, it's going to round down. If I take the ceiling of any number in this range, it will round up, no matter if the number is greater or less than 2.5. The floor is denoted this way, which makes sense. It's a floor. <laughs> the ceiling is denoted this way, which again makes sense. So let's do a few examples, shall we? What would the floor of 2.2 be? That's right, it'd be 2. What would the ceiling of 2.2 be? Right. Three. All right, so it looks like you've got the hang of it. Let's do one more example. All right, so now that you understand what a floor and a ceiling function does, let's talk about proofs. Something interesting about proofs in mathematics is that it's very, very difficult to prove that something is generally true. However, it's super duper easy to prove that something is false, just using one counterexample and you're done. But don't believe me. We'll prove something is false and something is true. Now this claim is just horrifyingly wrong. So a counterexample is pretty easy to find. We can find a counterexample letting x be pretty much any real number. So let's choose pi, because we can. If x is equal to pi, then the ceiling of pi is 4, and thus we want to figure out if the floor of the square root of 4 is equal to the floor of x to the power of 1 half. We put the question mark since we have not yet proved equality. Now, the square root of pi is only 1.7 approximately. The point is that the number is between 1 and 2, and that's all that matters. Proof done! So now we've got this lovely claim. In order to generalize, we let x equal to x floor plus mu. This will account for every possible x value. We do the same for y using a separate constant, epsilon. I have written on the board that the interval on which these two exist is closed. This is not true. The interval does not include 1. Since neither epsilon nor mu exist at 1, the floor of each is going to be 0. With this in mind, we can expand both sides of our given claim beginning with the right side. And now we can expand the left side. We see that the expanded forms of both sides contain the terms 2 floor x plus 2 floor y. Subtracting these terms from our claim, we find that by proving that the floor of the sum of mu and epsilon is less than or equal to the sum of the floor of 2 mu and the floor of 2 epsilon, our original claim will be proven. We can break this down into four possible cases. If we can prove that the new claim is true in all four cases, then we have proven the original claim. In the first case, mu is less than one half and epsilon is less than one half. Thus, the left side is zero and the right is zero plus zero. Checkaroony, we have proven our first case. In the second case, mu is less than one half and epsilon is greater than or equal to one half. Thus, the left side is zero and the right is zero plus one. Awesome, two for two. In the third case, mu is greater than or equal to one half, and epsilon is less than one half. Thus, the left side is zero, and the right is one plus zero. Three for three, aw oh, yeah! In the fourth case, mu and epsilon are both greater than or equal to one half. So the left side is one, and the right is one plus one. Four for four, success! So, our new claim is true in all cases, and since it's equivalent to our original claim, we have proven that our original claim is true for all reals! Quadrat demonstrandum! Woohoo! 